President Biden has promised that the federal government will act to protect women's rights if U.S. states seek to prevent them traveling to get an abortion. Speaking at a virtual meeting with Democratic state governors, Mr. Biden said he believed that some states would attempt to arrest women who crossed state lines for abortion access. He went on to say that only Democratic victories in the midterm elections would give Congress the power to restore federal abortion rights. I think people are going to be shocked when the first state, the first state that tries to arrest a woman for crossing a state line to get uh, health services, uh, and they're, they're, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think people believe that's going to happen. But it's going to happen, and it's going to, it's going to telegraph to the whole country that this is, this is a gigantic deal that goes beyond. I mean, it affects all your basic rights. If extremist governors try to block a woman from traveling from her state that prohibits her from seeking medical help she needs to a state that provides that care, the federal government will act to protect her bedrock rights through the attorney general's office. Well, there are now fears that uh, in states limiting abortion, police could try to access location histories on smartphones owned by women who are pursuing plans to terminate a pregnancy. And with this in mind, Google says that in the coming weeks, it will start deleting information when its systems identify a trip to an abortion clinic. Jeffrey Fowler is a columnist with the Washington Post. He told us more about the specific concerns around law enforcement agencies being able to access personal data. By U.S. law, any time that a company has access to data, um, a court can order them to hand it over. It requires a warrant, and there's a process, and there's some negotiation. But uh, but the 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 end of Roe versus Wade, that abortion decision in the United States, really I think opened people's eyes to on a mass scale that wow, companies like Google know so much about us that any of those data points that they collect about us could then be you know, sought by prosecutors and used as evidence of a crime. So again, we're talking about, uh, we've seen previously uh, uh, cases in the US where Google searches are used to prosecute crimes, uh, text messages, um, locations on a map, all sorts of things, all of which Google collects uh, as a regular order of business about its users. And it's a, a wake up call again for all of us that, you know, creating these giant businesses that are based on harvesting our personal information and make money off of it has in many ways created the kind of accidental dystopia, right? They're selling these, uh, they're taking our data and saying, okay, they're going to give us in exchange useful products. And we get that, but we're not thinking about all of the other things that that data can be, can be used. It's, it's surveillance capitalism, and we're really starting to pay the price for it.